Hello, I'm your accounting coach, Michael Sakala. Today I'll be walking, uh, I'll be walking you through um, global operations, a subject in one of the business courses, and I'll be focusing on facility locations. And my main interest in this tutorial is to show you how to compute the ideal facility location given the three possible options that are there in global operations. One of the options we use to calculate uh, the ideal facility location is load distance. And the other option is center of gravity. And the last option is rating factor. Now, these options, they come separately in your exam, and your examiner will be asking you to calculate uh, what is required based on each of these options. What it entails here is that if your examiner asks you to calculate the ideal facility location using load distance, he will give you several options under load distance from which you need to choose the most ideal location. So happens with center of gravity and rating factor. So I'll begin with load distance. There is an example here, which is right behind me on the board. All right, we begin example number one, under load distance. There are three potential sites and four eligible suppliers to be considered with their distances marked in coordinates as X and Y and their weights as shown in the table below. This is the table that we are talking about. Okay. Now required compute distance from each site to each supplier. So basically here we've got four suppliers A, B, C, and D. All right? And we want to find out which of these uh, potential sites where we can put a facility. So we've got site one, site two, and site three. So we need to choose at the end of it or which uh, site is ideal uh, to put the facility, okay? But the first question does require that we compute the distance from each site to each supplier. So I will indicate my solution on the other side of the board. Shako this solution one. So basically, I am computing the distance from each site to each supplier. The best way of tackling this question is for you to understand that you've got three sites, and each one of these three sites is going to deal with the three eligible. Uh, the four eligible suppliers, which are A, B, C, and D. Therefore, I'll start with site one. All right? Let's move to the other side of the board. So there you are, site one. Meaning site one will deal with supplier A, supplier B, supplier C, and supplier D. So now, I'll calculate the distance here in relation to supplier A. And the formula for this is basically square root open brackets x 
the x I'm talking about here is the x of the site minus the corresponding x of supplier A. So I shall be calling this other x as x if for these, well, let me just put A there so that we clear. X A there. And then we'll close and then we'll say square. And then we'll say y. The y I'm talking about is the y as with regard to site one. Remember, I'm dealing site, I'm dealing with site one here. Okay, so the y I'm talking about, this is our x, this is our y. The y I'm talking about is the 200 there. So I'll say y here. We shall fuse in the figures very soon. And then the corresponding y is with relation to uh, a, which is the 220. Okay, so I shall call this as ya. And then we can fuse in now the values in the formula or squared here, beg your pardon. So we we'll have open brackets there. The x is the x which pertains to site 1. So I have the x which is 380. So I have my 380 here. Minus the x which pertains to site, uh, to supplier A, which is 220. Minus 220. And then I'll square this plus open brackets. And then I'll go to the Y part. The Y, we are still dealing with site A. So the Y, we still maintain. It will be 200 here. Minus the Y for A. The Y for A is this one. This is X. This is Y. X, Y. And this is A. So the Y for A is that one. 220. And then I'll square it like that. And then... Now we can process this on the calculator. All right, let me grab my calculator there. We can process this on the calculator. Um, the way I usually basically do it is uh, open brackets first, open brackets, 380 minus 220, and then I shall say raise the power two, and then I shall say plus, open brackets, 200 minus 220 raised to power 2, which is squared. I have 26,000. I haven't yet done the square root. So I'll go on square root symbol and then press answer on my calculator and then square root that answer that I found. I'm getting... 161.25 to two decimal places. All right, so we've done, we, we've dealt with site, site, site one in relation to A. Now we are still on site one. Remember site one has to deal with all the four suppliers. So now we are shifting um, to supplier B, all right? So now, obtaining the same formula there, of course, I should have said DB here, so we we'll know DB, okay, DB here, meaning distance in relation to B, all right? And then I'll have the square root symbol there, and then I'll say, um, I'll say X, X there, X as with regard to site one. So the X still maintains because I'm still dealing with site one. So it simply means that these values, they'll maintain throughout my computation up, to, up until I deal with D, okay? So now um, the X, which is 380, where am I getting the 380? Site one, I'm still dealing with site one, okay? Minus, okay? Now I'm shifting my attention to B. The X for B is 120. So I'll get 120 here. 
and then raised to power 2 plus okay my y y for what y for the site y for the site is 200 I'm still dealing with site 1 the 200 there maintains which is that one there okay 200 minus I'm looking now for the y for b so y here and in relation to b it's 520 so I'll say 520 all right and then maybe I can be putting us as this side so that I can have all the four on one board let me process this on the calculator so there we are again I start open brackets 380 minus 120 close brackets raise the power 2 plus open brackets 200 minus 520 close brackets raise the power 2 and then I obtain 170,000 square root of that I have 412.31 for 12 for 12 for 12.31 so I've dealt with site 1 distance B so again we are still in site 1 I'm now dealing with supplier C but still in site 1 okay so I shall call this distance in relation to C and then I'll do that square root symbol okay and then what am I going to do here yes so I'll have that and then open brackets I'm still with site 1 380 minus but this time around, it's supplier C. So the X for C is 270. So I have the 270 here squared plus open brackets. The Y still maintains to be 200. So I have 200 here. And then my Y for C is 620. Okay, so I have 620 there squared let me process that on the calculator open brackets 380 minus 270 squared plus 200 minus 200 minus 620 squared I have 108,500 and then I square root that answer I have 434,17 4, 3, 4, okay just to confirm quickly That's it, absolutely. Okay, so we have 434.17. Now I go to distance in relation to D. So it shall be DD. Okay, which is the last one as with regard to site one. Okay, which is DD here. Okay, so I'll say this. And then we'll say. Um, 380 it still man it maintains open brackets 380 because we are still in site 1 that's our X for site 1 and then our X for D is 520 and then I'll square it then open the brackets and then my Y for site for site 1 is 200 so 200 there And then 
my Y for supplier D is basically 320. So I have the 320 here and square it, and then I can process this on the calculator. Open brackets, 380 minus 520, close brackets, squared, plus 200, open brackets, 200 minus 320, close the brackets, squared. This should equal to 34,000, square root of 34,000, 34,000 there, square root will be 184.39, 184.39, okay, all right, so now we have the distances for site one as with regard to all the four suppliers okay so now what i'll do to just because i'll need these numbers as i compute my load distance which is the, the second question i can actually just erase here we've already taken note of the question and then i can put my sites here site one my A distance is 161. One, 161.25. My B is 412.31. My C is 434, 434.17, and my D is, okay, just remove that, okay, my D is 184.25. All right, so, I'm done with site one. Now I'm shifting my go post to site two. And site two as well, it will deal with all the four suppliers. Let's see how this works out. I can remove this. I've already gotten the solutions for here. We shall make reference to them later in the tutorial. Okay. So the same formula now applies, but this time around, we are moving to site two. And then I shall write here site two, so that we don't lose track of what we are doing. So it shall now be distance in relation to A for site two, uh, square root symbol, open brackets, X, which is X for site two, minus x for a squared plus open brackets y minus y for a squared. So here if we're doing for a we'll simply say square root we can fuse in the numbers in the formula I'm getting the x as with regard to side 2 which is 440 40 minus the x as with regard to a which is 220 and then I'll square it plus open brackets plus open brackets and then y as regard to side 2 which is 470 minus y as regard to site or to supplier a, which is 220 squared. Now I can move faster because we've we've gotten used. You've seen the process, so I can move faster. But I'll be I'll be also patient to make sure that you're following through step by step. Open brackets. 440 minus 
220 close squared plus open brackets 470 minus 220 close bracket squared this gives me 110,900 110, square root of this what do I obtain I obtain 333.02 to two decimal places okay now I move on to db db what are we saying we are saying we are still dealing with site 2 side 2 there so I'm getting 440 for side 2 440 minus b what is my x on b 120 120 what square there open brackets and then I get my y there 470 470 minus um, 520 520 here okay 520 there now if you observe this is a pattern as long as we are still saying site 2 440 will maintain 440 will maintain way up to d in the same manner um 470 will maintain way up to d as long as we are still talking about site 2 because those will not change it's still 440 440 440 and 470 there okay what will be changing is the a b c uh, suppliers all right so quickly, let me process that on the calculator. 440 minus 120, close brackets, squared, plus open brackets, 470, minus 520, squared. I have that. And then the square root of that gives me 323. 323.88, two decimal places. Okay. So DC... Like I said, 440 will maintain. We're still dealing with the same site, which is site 2. So the X there will still maintain. And then we are dealing with C. The X for C is 270. And then the 470 there will, re will remain. And then the Y for C is 620. 620 here. And then I'll process this on the calculator. Square root of that, 226. 226.72. Okay, DD, DD, no issue. What did I say will maintain? I said the 440 will maintain and the 470 will maintain. We know why by now. 440, okay. So D, what is the X for D? 520 there. 520 squared plus um, the Y. The Y 470 will maintain 320 there. Four forty minus five twenty. I square that open brackets. Okay, plus open brackets four seventy four seventy minus 320 close bracket squared I have that and then square root that I yield to yields a 170 here okay so this is now as with regard to site site 2 my a is 3333.02 my b is uh, 323 Point eight eight. My C, my C is two two six, two two six point seven two, and my D is one seventy. Okay, I'm done with side two. Okay, it's a quite involving calculation, but it, it awards you a lot of marks in the exam. So you need to be quick. And you need to be very accurate in the exam. Okay? 
we move on to site three. Site three. Site three, again, we move to there. So we are close to finishing. All right, site three, we move to there. So site three, we'll say we we'll need the distance in relation to A. Square root there, x for site three, minus x for A, squared plus, y for side 3 minus y for a squared okay so now i can fuse in the values in here x for side 3 is 270 okay 270 there minus x for a 220 squared plus y for site 3 which is 420 minus y for a which is 220 there we are I can process that quickly on the calculator getting 206, 206, 16, dB. And again, as long as we are dealing with site 3, the 270 will maintain throughout up to D, and the 420 will maintain throughout up to D, because that's the X and the Y uh, corresponding to site 3. Okay, so 270 here will maintain. B, 120, 420 will maintain, B, 520, B here, for B, Y for B, all right, 270 minus 120, 420 minus 520. I have that. Gives me 180.28 to two decimal places. DC. We are maintaining the X and the Y. No worries. But I need the X for C. The X for C is 270. Wow, okay. This will be a zero. Oh. Yeah. 270x here. 270x there. Correct. Okay. So, what a coincidence. And uh, 420 will remain. And then uh, y 620. Two seventy open brackets two seventy minus two seventy of course that will give us a zero, but just for the sake of processing, four twenty minus six twenty close bracket squared, we we'll have that yes, so we we'll have a two hundred here. DD, which is the last one. So 270 will remain, we know, we are still dealing with site 3, and then the D, 
What's our x for d? Our x for d is 5, 520. And then the 420 will remain. We are still dealing with side 3. And then our y for d is 320. So I have my 320 here. And then I can process that quickly. Open brackets, 270 minus 520, close bracket squared, plus open brackets, 420 minus three, 320, close the brackets squared. I have that, and then square root that. I have 269.26. 269.26. All right. Okay. So now I have now for side three. Side three. My A is 206.16. My B is 180.28. 180.28 and my C my C is 200 and my D is 269.26 269.26 okay so now that answers part one of our question, which is the first one, which is compute distance from each site to each supplier. Okay. Compute the load distance and determine the suitable site out of the three potential potential sites. Okay. Again, I have my solution this side. So what I'll do is. I'll simply remove this, yeah, erase this, and then now I can compute the load distance for each of these three sites. Okay. So site site one. Okay. So site one, if you see here. The distance was 161.25. So I have 161.25. That's for A. And then I'll multiply it with the weighting for A, which is the 75. So I'll multiply that by 75 plus C. My B is 412.31. Multiply by the weighting for B, which is 105, plus C. My C is 434.17. Multiply by the weighting for C, which is 135. Indicate I'm responding to question two. My D is 184.39 for site one. 184.39 multiply by the weighting for D, which is skisty. We can have the answer for site. One, so I'll open the brackets as usual. One six one point two five multiply by seventy five close brackets plus C four twelve multiply by four twelve point point three one multiply by one zero five. I close the brackets there plus four thirty four. Point one seven. 
multiply by 135. I close the brackets there. Plus open brackets 184.39 multiply by 60. Close the brackets. My final answer is 12,000. No, 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 not 12,000. 125. 125.062.65. This is the load distance as with regard to site 1. Site 2. Site 2. My A was 333.02. 333.02. Multiply by the waiting for A, which is 75. So we are multiplying by these weights here. Plus open brackets, 323, 323.88. Multiply by the waiting for, for B, which is 105. Plus, my C is 226, 226.72, multiply by the weighting for C, which is 135, plus 170, multiply by the weighting for D, which is 60. Can have the answer for site two as well. Let me quickly throw it in the calculator. Have ninety nine seven ninety one point one. Let me quickly verify that. That's the correct value, okay? So we found the load distance for site two. We go to site three. Site three, my A was 206. Point one six, multiply by 75 there, plus, my B was 180.28. Multiply by the waiting for B, 105. Plus, my C was 200. Multiply by the waiting for C, which is 135. Close brackets, open brackets, plus my D was 269.26. Multiply by the waiting for D, which is 60.
180, okay, open bracket 206.16 multiplied by 75 plus open bracket 180.28, multiplied by 105 plus 200 multiplied by 135 close brackets plus 269 multiply, uh, point 0.26 multiplied by 60 close the brackets I obtain 7 flat I can verify that one quickly without wasting time. All right, so that's the correct answer. Okay, so now, which one is the suitable site of these three? Remember, we're dealing with distance, distance. So when we are talking about sites and distance, which distance is better? Is it the shorter distance or the longer distance? Okay, so the short one is better, so the shortest distance or the shortest load distance of all of them, the three, is side, is side three. Therefore, um, this organization should place its facility at side three. As with regard to supplying the four potential suppliers because it proves to be more shorter than the other three sites with the first one having a 125,062 99,791, this, this one is only 77,547. Thank you so very much. Join me as I look at uh, another computation for facility location, which is the center of gravity. Welcome back. Uh, we are still looking at facility location. Uh, the previous tutorial, we're looking at uh, load distance. Now, we have, shift, uh, we have shifted our focus on center of gravity. Now, center of gravity, um, what we are trying to compute, we are just trying to compute the ideal location, which is more central, which is central to these uh, four coordinates or four um, uh, locations, okay? So this, this can be maybe a health facility. We want to put a health, a health facility, and these are the coordinates uh, for the villages that will surround, that will surround the uh, health facility. So let's move on. We see how we calculate the ideal central location um, to facilitate or to meet the demands of the um, four locations there. All right. So with this one, the first thing is, I'll have my solution again this side. The first thing is you need to know how to calculate your X and your Y, and then it's from that X that will determine, uh, that X and, uh, and Y that will determine uh, the ideal coordinate. So here it's basically calculating the X weighted and the Y weighted as with regard to these uh, four facilities. So my X will be given by summation XW over summation W. Now when I say summation XW, I'm simply saying we are multiplying the X multiplied by the weighting. And then when I say 
um, x w uh, summation w I simply mean the total of the weightings here all right so my x will be if I'm choosing in um, let's see we've got it x there for a multiplied by the weighting okay so x there for a which is 200 the weighting is 75 plus x there for b and the weighting is 105 and then we have x for c which is 250 and the weighting is 135 Plus, no, 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 no. I need to be systematic on this one. And then the X for D, which is that, and the weighting is 60. 500 multiplied by 60. Fantastic. Over the summation of the weightings. What is the summation of the weightings? So I'm going to total them. 75 plus 105 plus. 135 plus 60 gives me 375. Okay? 375. That's the weighting for, that's the summation of the weightings. Summation of XW, I need to compute here now. I'll have that. And then these will have, will be open brackets. 200 multiplied by 75, close brackets, plus open brackets, 100 multiply by 105, close brackets, plus open brackets, uh, 250 multiply by 135, close brackets, plus open brackets, 500 multiply by, uh, multiply by 60, and then I close the brackets. I'm getting something like 89,250. So 89,250. 50 over 375. So I have my x coordinate 89, 250 divided by 375. 238. 238 is my x coordinate. So I found what my x is. Okay. I need to find my y. My y, like the case of x, will be. Summation of y multiplied by the weightings over summation of the weightings, which will still remain to be uh, 375. So my y will be, my y will be, um, 200 multiplied by 75 plus 500 multiplied by 105. plus 600 multiplied by 135 plus 300 multiplied by 60. It's not visible. Let me just be smart. There's no harm. I'll start from here, right? 200, I said, multiply by 75. 500, multiply by 105. 600, multiply by 135. 300, multiply by 60. Yes. This is better. Over 375. The 375 will maintain because it's simply the summation of the the weightings here. Okay, so now I can process that on the calculator. Two hundred open brackets, two hundred. Multiply by seventy-five plus five hundred. Multiply by 105 plus 600. Multiply by 135 plus 300. 
multiplied by 60. Okay. I have that. Divide by 375. Thank you. I have my Y. So now, I want to keep this solution. Maybe I can keep it on top here. I can simply say my X is 328 and my Y is 444. So these are the coordinates, 328, comma, 444. All right? This is the ideal location where we need to put the facility. 238, sorry, beg your pardon, 238. 238, yeah. Even there has to be 238. Error of transposition. Okay, so now we have... Yes, so this is the um, ideal location where I need to put the facility. And we can see if we want to convince the examiner, we can even plot this to show and indicate that that will be the central uh, location. This will always be our Y. This will be our X coordinate. X, Y. Uh, let me look at the numbers. The highest number looks like it's a 600 on the axis. And on the, uh, on the axis, yeah, no? On the axis, is 500. Then on the Y, is it's 600. So maybe I can use a scale of 100. I can say 100 here, 200 there, 300 there, 400 there, 500 there, 600 there, 700, leave it there because there's no number which is exceeding, there's no coordinate in the X which is exceeding 700, so I can leave it there. And then I can start here again. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600. I can also leave it here at 700. Let's plot for A. 200, 200. So A, where is A? 200, 200 is here. 200, 200, 200. This is for what? For A. This is where A is situated. B, the X is 100. The Y is 500. The X is 100. This is X. The X is 100. And the Y is 500. So 100 against 500 is here. 100 against 500. This is B. That's where B is. And C, uh, the X is 250 and the Y is 600. 250 is somewhere here. 250 is somewhere here. And then 600 is there. So 250 is 600. 250, 600. This is our C. Our D is at uh, 300. 300 against 500. So 500 will be our X. And our Y will be 300. 500, 300 here. 500, 300. Superb. That is our D. Now let's check where our ideal location is falling. Okay? Our X is 238. So 238 should be somewhere here. Okay? And uh, sorry, 238 should be somewhere here, slightly below 250, somewhere here. Somewhere there, 238. Okay? And then 238 there. And then our Y is 444. 450, somewhere here, so 444 is somewhere slightly below 450, somewhere there. Okay? So we have that. So now we can say this is where 238, 
238,444 is falling, which is our ideal location. You remember the example that I'd given? Imagine if these are the surrounding villages, and then you put the health, a health facility there, you realize that it's, it's shorter to each one of them, like it's, it's more on the, on the center, it's more central. This is what it implies when we say facility location under center of gravity. We are simply thinking of placing a facility on a more central position where it can be easily accessed by all these um, sites. Thank you very much. Join me as I do the last example on rating factor. Welcome back. So we continue with uh, facility location computation. Now I'm looking at uh, the last part, which is a uh, rating, rating factor. Now rating factor, uh, we're basically given different weights and we are given um, numbers for each site um, together with uh, the weighting itself, all right? So in this case, we have location factor. The location factor you can see here, labor pool and climate has been given 0 0.3, which is basically about 30%. And then proximity to suppliers, 0 0.2. Wage rates, all these are what? Are weights. So what we'll be doing here, we'll be multiplying the weights with a score of each site. These are scores for each site, all right? So site one, um, we'll start calculating um, the weighting against the the score to find the expected score and then we'll total it up and then we'll pick the one uh, one of the sites which will have the highest score so we can we can we can start without wasting time um, as you can see um, the first score here is 80 the weight is 0 0.3 so for site one I have 0 0.3 multiplied by 80 it gives me 24 so my solutions I'll keep them this side as usual 24 okay 0 0.2 multiplied by 100, which is 20. Okay. 0 0.15 multiplied by skisti. That gives me 9. Zero point one five multiplied by 75. That gives me 11.25. Zero point one multiplied by sixty-five gives me six point five, I guess. Zero point zero five multiplied by eighty-five gives me four point two five. Zero point zero five multiplied by fifty, I guess it gives me two point five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just to make sure I haven't missed anything. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Correct. So I'll add these. And I'll say 24 plus 20 plus 9 plus 11.25 plus 6.5 plus 4.25 plus 2.5. I have 77.5. This is the weighted score for site one. I go to site two. Again, weighting multiplied by the score there. Okay, so this is 0 0.3 multiplied by 65, 19.5. 0 0.2 multiplied by 91. 18.2, 0 0.15. Multiply by 95, 14.25, 0 0.15 multiply by 80, 12, 0 0.1 multiply by 90, I guess that she should be 9, yes 9 here. And then 0 0.05 multiplied by 92, 4.6. 0 0.05 multiplied by 
Okay. 19.5 plus 18.2 plus 14.25 plus 12 plus 9 plus 4.6 plus 3.25. The total there is 80.8. This is the expected score for site 2 based on these location factors. Again, I do the same for site 3. 0 0.3 multiplied by 90 gives me 27.3. That's sorry, not 27. It just has to be 27. 0 0.3 multiplied by 90 has to give me 27, yes. 0 0.2 multiplied by 75 has to give me 15. 0 0.15 multiplied by 72. That gives me 10.4. No, 10.8, I guess. One, two, three, I'm on 72, yes. Yeah, 10.8. 0 0.15 multiplied by 80. That gives me 12. 0 0.1 multiplied by 95, that should be 9.5. 0 0.05 multiplied by 65, 3.25. 0 0.05 multiplied by 90, 4.5. What's the total there? 27 plus 15 plus 10.8 plus 12 plus 9.5 plus 3.25 plus 4.5. I get 82.05. From this expected score, I can choose which site is ideal for the location. Remember, the factors which are there are these. Proximity to the, to the supplier simply talks about the distance it is to the wage rates, uh, community environment, proximity to customers. So all these are more like, like advantages. So if there are advantages, then I need to choose uh, the highest expected uh, score. So the highest expected score is basically site three. Therefore, we can deduce that site three is ideal for our um, location, for, for our facility. Is the ideal location, ideal location for our facility, for our facility. All right. So this one, I should say, the most simplest of all the three methods that we have examined so far, and it being the most simplest, it's less likely to be examined in the exam what you're expecting much in your exam is basically the computation comprising load distance. Thank you very much. This is all on facility location computations. <laughs>